Vacuum technology is currently used in many industries. Even though there was time when these methods were used only in research laboratories. The first foods of its industrial use pumping of light bulbs and electronic tubes and valves are still important. But as transistors were introduced, vacuum equipment found a new application in the electronic industry. In particular, it was used to produce high purity materials. Vacuum technology is widely used in metallurgy, chemical industry, medicine, biology, food and nuclear industries. Vacuum technology began to evolve in the Middle Ages, when the very nature of vacuum was still unclear. The most famous experiments in this field were conducted by German scientist and experimentalist Otto von Guericke in the first half of the 17th century. He invented the first vacuum pump, a water barometer, carried out many important and interesting experiments. A vacuum from Latin vacuum, an empty space, is a medium whose gaseous pressure is much lower than that of atmospheric pressure. There can be perfect vacuum or absolutely empty void, which is a hole in the space-time where there is nothing tangible, no matter, no space-time itself. The physical vacuum is denoted in modern physics as a pure empty space. The technical vacuum is a stage of gas under low pressure. Technical vacuum has a thermodynamic definition. A vacuum is a state of gas under the pressure at which the mean free path of atoms or molecules is larger than the capacity. In practice, of course, the latter definition is used. According to the ratio between the free length, lambda, and the vessel's dimensions, d, there are low vacuum, medium vacuum, and high vacuum. To achieve low vacuum under pressure about 1 tor or 1 mm of mercury, it will be enough to use a regular water jet or oil pump. A low vacuum pump is usually placed between the ambient air and high vacuum pump producing a first stage vacuum. That is why low vacuum is often called four vacuum. With further decrease in pressure in the chamber, 10 and minus fifth power, tor and below, the gas molecules do not collide with each other and move freely from wall to wall, and in this case, we speak of high vacuum. Ultra-high vacuum corresponds to pressure of 10 to the minus 9th power tor and below. In an ultra-high vacuum, for example, experiments are conducted with a scanning tunnel microscope. To produce and maintain a high vacuum, high vacuum pumps are used, which are complicated technical devices. The main types of high vacuum pumps are Diffusion pumps, based on the direction of molecules of residual gases by a jet of the working gas. Turbomolecular pumps, which are multi-stage microturbines. Getter and ion pumps, based on the introduction of gas molecules in the getters, e.g. titanium and cryosorption pumps. The last three types of pumps have been widely used in laboratories and highly clean productions.